Well, Detroit Public Schools Community District announcing a major announcement rather on their newest development. A 53,000 square foot terminal at Coleman A. Young International Airport is being transformed into an educational facility that will welcome back the Davis Aerospace Technical High School. It's actually a big deal and offers a lot of opportunities. Here's Fox News' Ingrid Kelly. So we're back. Back to where it all began. Davis Aerospace Technical High School landing back to its original home at Coleman A. Young International Airport. And as we get better, the next generation gets better. That vision is evident in Davis Aerospace Technical High School student Herbert Anderson, who at age 10 realized he wanted to fly a plane. And when I'm up in the sky, I just feel like I'm just away from it all. Now his dream is taking flight at Davis. Because I will be graduating with my pilot pilot's license. His classmate is also navigating her path. It's when it came to like flight training courses and everything like that, if you don't know, it's like a college course. Planes are housed at Coleman A. Young International Airport, and when the campus moves back, students have direct access, not just to flight training, but robotics and much more. So we have three Cessnas that we own that are housed on the grounds of the city airport, and we're very excited about that. And the conversation isn't going to be, can we get students at Davis Aerospace? It's going to be, we've ran out of room. A state grant and other funding working to provide the capital to help make the renovations possible. The high school is set to open at the airport in the fall of next year. This type of investment over $100 million into Detroit City Airport KDET is going to be huge. It's not only huge for our students, it's going to be huge for the jobs that it creates. It's going to be huge for the revitalization of this airport. But you can't talk about the future without talking about the past. I was the first African-American to graduate from Davis Aerospace. Wow. His goal is to make sure more African-American youth have aerospace careers. And I have not turned it loose and will not turn it loose. And many of these students admit the expense of learning how to fly would keep many of them grounded. But thanks to this program at DPSCD, many say they're now able to soar high. I, honestly, flying a plane is expensive. They'll charge you upwards of 100000 just for training. But you get it for DPS for free and they treat you with respect to everything. So it's definitely a game changer for young black men. They just got to get out there. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.